Six three-quarter inch Neo magnets comprise the magnet compass part of the compass magnet motor. The magnets are rotated by an N20 DC motor powered through a MOSFET with an Arduino and IR remote control. We gradually increase the speed with the remote control. Top speed in this trial will be 150 RPM. Over that top speed, the magnets turn too fast and go out of sync. The magnets weigh about three and a half ounces with the flange. The entire armature weighs 13 and 5 eighths ounces. So the armature will turn a little just from the reaction inertia of the mass of the magnets. Watch how the armature dramatically slows down when the magnets turn too fast. We recover by slowing down two notches and speeding up one notch. With too little torque, at slow speeds, the N20 DC motor has to turn the magnets too fast, so the armature was spun up to sink the magnets with our fingers. Because the Earth's magnetic field is very large, its gradient is very small. This is why it measures only about 50 microteslas. But by a rough means of comparing force to torque, the torque is actually thousands of times stronger. We wanted to see how fast the compass magnet motor could go with only six magnets. Watch how the armature turns a little from the reaction inertia of the spinning magnets. Once the magnets are turning in sync, the armature will turn much faster. What if we use more magnets? Will it go faster? Yes, it will go much faster. Here with 12 magnets, it reaches the top speed
speed of 276 RPM. With regards to torque, the longer magnet is much more powerful.